Hello, my name is Jennifer Davenport and welcome to my channel. So you decided to pursue interior design as your business. Great. But how can you showcase your abilities when you're just starting out? Well, today we're going to chat about that. All right, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos about interior design advice. All right, let's get started. Number one, a great way to showcase your talent is by using your own home as reference. Nine times out of 10, people discover their love for decorating when they begin decorating their own home. Their friends and family come in their home and go, wow, this place is stunning or they may even ask you to help design their own home. You can also use the homes of either your friends or family that you have helped decorate. Just because you didn't get paid for it doesn't mean it doesn't validate the fact that you have skills. If you're not skilled in interior photography, don't let that overwhelm you. There are plenty of courses that you can look into online. In fact, there's some courses on how to take gorgeous pictures just using your iPhone then you don't need to hire a photographer and you're going to use those photos on your social media pages as well as your website. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to take before pictures. Everybody loves to see a before and after makeover, but consider using your own space as a display of your abilities. Number two, create mood boards or sketches. This is a great way to show what you're capable of. Show a layout of a room and how you would design it. Not only will this give you great practice, but this is going to show your client your ability and talent. Have a section on your website where you show your virtual designs. This shows your client how you present your designs. You want to get your vision across to them. And when you do that, that shows them how you're going to execute it as well. This shows your potential client how you present your designs and establishes you as a professional. It also shows who you are stylistically as a designer. I would recommend limiting yourself to a few design styles rather than showing all the designs you know how to do. Stick to branding your image first. Show what you are most happy designing because that will hook clients that love that style as well. For instance, if you only show coastal designs, well, you're going to attract clients that are wanting coastal designs because that's all you've showcased. So create virtual designs. It's a fantastic way to show off your skills. Number three, do some design work for free. Nobody likes this suggestion, but this is a great way to build your portfolio when you are first starting out. I call it paying your dues. Offer a friend or family free design work. Now they have to pay for the product, but the service would be free. You could also seek out a model home, do your service for free, and then have your business cards on display. Now that would be a lot of work, but boy, does that pay off. Not only does your name get out there for everyone touring the model home, but you'll build a good reputation with the builder who will be inclined to share your name with potential customers. Now doing design work for free is something beginners need to be open to, but listen, your payment is going to be in your testimonials and your branding. This is not the fun part of starting out, but you will not have to do this for very long or for very often. Just get what you need to start off your branding. Present yourself as a professional and go above and beyond for your clients, even if you're gonna be doing it for free. Build a great portfolio and you'll be landing clients left and right. This interior design advice is just a snippet of what I teach in my design course. So if you are interested in becoming a successful designer, I'm going to leave a link to my course in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.